Welcome to the very last day of Car Seat Headrest Week. It's very sad to see the event of the summer come to an end, but it will not end just yet because I have to tell you what the best Car Seat Headrest song is. I figured this out on my own. I used an online song sorter, a Car Seat Headrest song sorter. There was 195 songs. It is a long list. It took me four hours to do. I don't recommend it, but if you want to do it, the link is in the description. You can also see my full list on there because I'm not going to tell you all 195. 95 songs because there's songs like in peace at number 195 and it also shows up again I don't know why but it does the songs in between there are songs that you know would uh, obviously would show up there like I 94 West or whatever it's called which works well as an interlude but not a standalone song okay random commenter it's a good interlude okay there's also a total burn that shows up in there which I can't remember anything about fiction one which uh, was kind of a weird song big jacket from one which I'm very sorry if we have any big jacket stands in the audience drunk on a work night showing up super low i'm assuming there's gonna be some drunk on a work night fans in the audience as well so i'm apologizing right now no i am not on meth until it gets to 100 there's nothing really too interesting about all these songs all the songs that show up in the bottom 100 are uh, pretty predictable to be honest no one cares it's fun fact kyle coming back at you live from the past telling you that you now only have about 10 more days to buy this car seat headrest week merch if you would like to you can get this nice soft sleek design right here if you like to stay classy during the weekdays and on the weekends if you want to get a little rough a little wild a little fun then you can uh, get this big ass design on your shirt you may or may not also receive a signed postcard from yours truly all right fun fact Kyle out I am shocked that Hollywood came in so low. I feel like that might be a little inaccurate. Maybe I was feeling a little uh, a little distaste for Hollywood on that day that I decided to do the song picker. I don't think I would prefer Joe Goes to School than Hollywood. I think uh, Hollywood's a bit more fun than uh, listening to Joe walk to school or whatever. Also throughout the list, you'll notice some funny things happening. Like how this one time I went to the coffee house shows up right after FF, which if you remember from our previous videos, these are... <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry I said it like that. <laughs> These are the exact same song, just two different versions of the same song. So it's kind of funny that they show up like that. I am very shocked that My Boy and Stop Smoking off of Mirror to Mirror shows up so low on this list. They're obviously not the best songs off of Twin Fantasy, but I also, I don't think I would actually put it that low if I did this list myself. So I'm going to call that inaccurate. But the song that is between them, in case you're wondering, is Big Jacket off of Nervous Young Man. And I'm going to say that that is accurate. The face-to-face -face version of uh, Stop Smoking comes up like a good 22 spots ahead of the mirror to mirror version it's not that big of a deal because they're both just kind of little interludes but uh might need a recount on that one chief <laughs> i don't know why i said chief i immediately regret it you might be saying kyle this this sounds like a very inaccurate way of doing this the song picker didn't seem to do a good job of picking the songs but to be fair it would have taken me like triple the amount of time to figure this out if i did not use a song picker so i'll allow it reversible jacket shows up at 144 and beats out both of the uh, big jackets. That is not inaccurate. That's got the stamp of approval. Another interesting thing is that Teens of Styles, Hey Teenagers, Take Off Your Clothes, shows up at 152. Threes comes up at 148. Threes version is better. I said it before, I'll say it again. The rawness of that song is great. Also, it, uh, it's a bit weird hearing a uh, fully grown William ask teenagers to take off their clothes. This is an inaccuracy 100%. We Are In Space shows up at 116. I don't know what kind of crack I was smoking when I did this, that's definitely not right. Maybe I was just feeling a bit spacey. Maybe I just got done watching Ancient Aliens or something. Definitely not true. I've never watched that show. <laughs> the fact that it beats out the drum from Teens of Style, it beats out those boys, it beats out Famous, just doesn't seem right to me. The face-to-face -face version of Sober to Death showed up at 106. Make sure you remember that. So now we're in the top 100. Even now there's a little uh, bit of inaccurate stuff happening here, like Unforgiving Girl showing up at 98. I'm not the biggest fan of the song. I don't know how it ended up so high. Kind of a weird deal if you ask me, but it's there. Once we get to top 50, that's when it really starts like hitting it on the dot. There are some interesting uh, numbered album songs that show up in the top 100 though, especially at the beginning of the top 100. Caesar, The Simmer Salt, whatever that one's called, that one shows up there. Nothing shows up as well. OUJ shows up. Kid War, which is probably one of the best songs off of the numbered albums. A lot of good songs in the numbered albums, and I'm really glad that I took the time to listen to those albums. Something that I found
found very interesting is that all three of the O Starvings show up like within like 10 songs of each other. Honestly, after listening to the Living While Starving version, I stand by that. I think Living While Starving is the best version of the song. Forget what I said two, three days ago during the three review. I don't know what I was talking about then. It's been a while since I listened to the Living While Starving, which I should also mention, I forgot how good of a song I Hate Living is. So that song shows up incredibly low on this list, which should actually be a bit higher. That should actually probably be about top 50. A Pleasant Sort of Terror shows up at 79. If you haven't listened to that song, please do. That song is incredible. We also start seeing some disjecta membra come up. There's a, actually a big clunk of it. Big chunk, big clunky chunk of disjecta membra showing up right here. 224 shows up really high, which I think might be a little inaccurate. I think we should move that a bit down. It beats out songs like America Never Been. It beats out the face-to-face -face version of Beach Life and Death, and it beats out Drunk Drivers, I think. I mean, 224 is a good song. I just don't know if it would beat out all those songs. Monomania's Mod Gone shows up at number 60. Remember that? Los Barachos, the Teens of Style version, shows up at number 59. Remember that? Happy News for Sadness shows up at 59. Three and that beats out Anchorite, which I might piss off a couple of people. I kind of stand by it. Anchorite is just kind of a little long. It's a good song. It's a good song. It's just a little long. It could probably have been shortened a little bit. Both of the high to deaths show up very close to each other, which makes sense. But of course, Mirror to Mirror version is better. We got two goaded songs from four showing up right after each other in the perfect order. Reuse the Cells comes in at number 43, which I rediscovered while doing the song sorter. I'm so glad that it did because that song is like a banger song. It definitely deserves to be up in the top 50. Not only did Teens of Style's Mod Gone beat out Monomania's Mod Gone, but Teens of Style's Strangers also beat out My Back is Killing me baby strangers very accurate although i might not be the biggest fan of teens of style those two songs i think work better in that album the teens of style mod gone version is uh is pretty goaded if you ask me we got a nice three track run here from nervous young man followed up by i can talk with my eyes shut if you haven't listened to i can talk with my eyes shut yet you should have done that i already told you to do that a couple days ago so you should do that i'm waiting i am waiting i don't really know how i feel about costa concordia being so high up here there are days where i really enjoy this song and then there are days where I don't really enjoy this song. I guess we did the song sort of on a day that I enjoyed it and honestly at the time of recording this video I think 35 is a is a pretty good spot for it. Martin coming in at 33 though is a little bit heartbreaking. I kind of expected it to be a little bit higher so we'll call that one inaccurate for sure. Joe gets kicked out of school for doing drugs with friends. Was my very first Carsey Hedera song so it is very nice to see that that song showed up so high on this list. Still one of my favorite Carsey Hedera songs after all these years. We got a few tracks from Madlow showing up in the top 25, which is uh, kind of funny because we also had a few tracks from Madlow showing up in the bottom 100, which just goes to show how inconsistent that album kind of was. Oh, I forgot to mention, It's Only Sex coming in at number 30. Banger song, deserved spot. Afterglow kicks off the top 25 at number 25. Love the drum programming in that song. We got the mirror mirror diversion of Bodies and Star to Death beating out the face to face versions only because they are the superior versions. That that is 100% facts. Yo. Souls is at 20, followed up by There Must Be More Than Blood. Pretty accurate if you ask me. I've said this many times and I'll say it once again. I fucking wish that Souls was remade for Teens of Style. I feel like that version would have been higher than the Monomania version, but we'll never know. Overexposed is also in the top 25, which is pretty based if you ask me. Really funny how this worked out. Both versions of Nurse Young and Humans show up right after each other, and the face-to-face -face version, the superior version, is higher than the mirror-to-mirror -mirror version. I think that's a hot take. People don't really like that sense, I think. I enjoy it. Here is number 15 to 11. Pretty based if you ask me, except for the fact that I wish Broken Birds was higher and in fact I'd actually switch Broken Birds with number 9 which is uh, Plane Crash Blues. So we'd swap those two and then we got a pretty based 15 to 11. And now we are in the top 10. This is like the 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 end of the road here guys. Hey Space Cadet comes in at 10. Like I said Broken Birds is actually gonna be 9. Monomania's Los Barachos comes in at number 8. Based as paste. You know what I'm saying? That also shows up significantly higher than the Teens of Style version. Cosmic Hero, of course, comes in at number seven. Boxing Day beats it out at number six. Phenomenal song. Gotta have it in your top ten. I'm pretty sure that's a thing for every Car City Headrest fan. Now we're in the top five. We're in the big cojones here. Number five is Dream Encounter on Smoke Mountain. What a surprise. Before Car City Headrest Week, I didn't even know that this song existed, and now it's my fifth favorite Car City Headrest song of all time. Incredible song, so go listen to it if you haven't already. The ending of Dramamine shows up at number four for obvious reasons. Incredible song. 
song. Also, Speggy from the Discord, he's our manager in the Discord, he's got a cover of this song, so you should go check that out. It's a pretty cool cover. Really, he did a really good job at it. Number three is Famous Prophet Stars. You can't change my mind on this. This and Nervous Young and Humans are the only songs off of the face-to-face -face version that I prefer to the mirror-to-mirror -mirror version, and it's just honestly because I've got like a, some sort of emotional connection with this song. I've said before, I've cried to this song, and it's one of the only songs that I've cried to, so there's just no beating it. Now, the last two songs, this is like the most based thing I've ever said on the channel, and if you don't agree with it, then keep your mouth shut. All you gotta do is comment, wow, Kyle, you're so smart. I love your opinions, Kyle. Thank you for doing Car City Headrest Week. <laughs> Number two is Beast Monster Thing, Love Isn't Enough. Incredible song, fantastic lyrics, amazing guitar riff. One of my favorite songs, obviously, because it shows up in number two of this list. And number one, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, I want you to know that I'm awake slash I hope that you're asleep. Beautiful song, amazing storytelling, literally probably one of the best stories that I've ever heard in a Will Toledo song. Beautiful everything, beautiful guitar playing, beautiful fucking song structure. This whole song is incredible and that is why it is top one, number one, the only one. So that is my list. Please, if you have four hours of free time, go to the link in the description and do your own list and comment like your top 10 or whatever. Whether if you just watched only this video or you've been watching the whole week, thank you for watching Car Seat Header S Week, the event of the summer. It was a lot of fun to do. I, I hope to do a lot of more cool, bigger project stuff like this in the future. If you've got like 30 extra dollars that you wanna just throw away, you can buy a t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, I really appreciate you. The event of the summer is now over.